Hello, hello, this is Joe from Nerd in Korea. We are continuing our look at budget modal cycles, and this is the vision term cycle. I believe this is the second term cycle, the first one being Mirage that we already covered. Oh, please hit subscribe and like and all of that. Um, it makes such a big difference. It really does. I feel like people don't want to do it all the time though. Uh. So what are we talking about? So these are all budgets, so they're 61 cents and under. This is the complete vision charm cycle. Uh, yeah, these are monocolored charms. So we've colored the tricolor. We haven't really done a lot of dual color ones yet because they're not really as budget, but um, I put the try to put these from best to worst with modal ones. It's hard though because like I think there is on this list there is a clear best option and then everything else is uh, very situational. So that's what I said for the last uh, one as well, and I think it's true here. The new Capenna charms were like very situational as well. Number five, Hope Charm. All right, so this is our white one. For one white, target creature gains first strike until end of turn, or target player gains two life, or destroy target local enchantment. Um, again, first of all, local enchantment, they just mean aura, okay? It's an outdated term, or a obsolete, yeah, that's the word, obsolete term for aura. That's it. Um, so these are generally underpowered compared to the mod modern counterparts. I think when you look at these and you compare them to like the new Capenna ones, even though I guess the new Capenna are three co or tri colors, they should be better, but they're way better. Like these really don't even measure up as like, you know, a third of the mana and easier to cast it's still, but um, Target player gains two life could be useful in like a life gain deck if you want to make sure you get your uh, trigger. Usually three or four is what the, the life gain trigger is. So it can get you most of the way at least. Even on turns where you're like blocking with something with lifelink. Maybe they'll give you two and then you could use this to finish it up and uh, get your trigger. I don't know. Uh, Target creature gains first strike. It's actually, I think, the best thing on that card. Uh, you can really change the outcome of a combat by just like giving one creature first strike. It does not have to be your creature. So keep that in mind. So there's kind of like a political side to that where you can say, oh, I'll, you know, I'll make sure your creature doesn't get destroyed with this other creature by giving it first strike and, you know, be nice, I guess, uh, or whatever. Destroy local enchantment. That's the other one. I think the destroying an aura is very specific. I think within, especially if you're playing like commander or something, within a whole game, it'll probably come in, in handy. Anyway, 12 cents. Number four, Emerald Charm. Okay, so one green. So choose one, untap target permanent, destroy target non-aura enchantment. Target creature loses flying until end of turn. I do like the uh, countering flyers with like taking away their flying. That is pretty awesome actually. Um, but the best one on here, the removal is nice as well. Uh, much more likely to be used in a game than the local enchantment if it's specific to auras there's a chance just no one plays an aura right especially like no one plays an aura or there happens to be no aura on the battlefield when you have that in your hand uh an enchantment or non-aura enchantment i feel like those are much more common so you're probably gonna be able to use it for that if you want to but untap target permanent um that is going to be useful in so, so many things. Even just getting an extra trigger out of an, uh, an ability, you know, like a tr just a tap triggered ability, being able to do that twice on a turn can be absolutely huge. In the right deck, that will be just like a monster of a spell. Anyway, one cent only. Number three. Uh, Hearth Charm. Okay, so for one red, our uh, red one here, destroy target artifact creature. Or all attacking creatures get plus one until end of turn, plus one attack, 
Okay, maybe. Or a creature with power two or less is unblockable this turn. This is a really weird red card. Am I wrong? Does this not feel like it should be blue? I mean, the unblock two or less power unblockable thing. I guess you've got like goblins and things that can do that. So that's not completely not red, but it does feel a lot more blue. Especially like destroy target artifact creature. Um, that works really nicely in kind of conjunction with a lot of um, black evasion. They have like fear and intimidate things that will where your creatures can only be blocked by something that shares a color or an artifact creature. So this will like kind of take out one of those uh, problem areas for you. Um, potentially just like giving you a free attack. So in conjunction with those, I think it's very good. Or even just the plus one to attack for all of your creatures. That can be very big if you're like doing a big token strategy, which you should be because tokens are good value. Anyway, 20 cents. Number two, Funeral Charm. I actually have a couple of these kicking around. I gotta get them into decks, but anyway. One black, okay. So this I this is the first one I look at and I go, this I would actually put into a deck. Like this is potentially like a playable, really good playable card. Or not really good, but like compared to the others, it's really good. Anyway, for one black, choose one target, uh, target player chooses and discards a card uh, the choose and discard is maybe not ideal but if you have it in conjunction with a bunch of other discard effects it can really get the job done or target creature gets plus two minus one until end of turn so that is doubly useful if you know your attack is getting through and there's no blocker use this to give you basically get, increase your damage by two um, hopefully your uh, creature doesn't, isn't like a 1-1 one, one or something, or something with only one toughness. As long as it has more than one toughness, it should be okay. And finally, uh, target creature gains Swamp Walk until end of turn. Okay, once again, um, target creature, not creature you control. So you can do this for anyone. And uh, yeah, Swamp Walk is really good. I think that's one of the most underrated evasion types. Anyway, 28 cents. Number one. Okay, Vision Charm. Here we go. For one blue. Um, this is the called the Vision uh, Charm Cycle. So I guess this is maybe the head of it. I don't know. But anyway, seems like it. I do like the art on this one, but yeah. Choose one. Uh, target artifact phases out. So first of all, could be very, very useful. Especially if your commander is an artifact creature, put this in. This is just gonna save your commander, right? So in the right deck, this is crazy. Um, I think artifacts in general are probably worth, if you've got like a, even a mana rock where you wanna keep it safe, this'll do it, right? This just basically, it phases out, it means like, Basically, it, it's not there until the start of your next turn. It just reappears. Um, so yeah, can't be targeted by anything. Um, or put the t uh, four cards from target player's library into his or her graveyard. Mill four, eh, maybe, could be useful. Or all lands, okay, this is the one that really stands out to me. Or all lands of one type are the basic lands of your choice until end of turn. So you're basically just transforming all the lands of one type into another type. So you can say like all swamps are islands or whatever. Um, Monocolored decks or even like dual colored decks, this can be just like kind of canceling the turn almost. Um, they can respond by tapping their land and getting all the mana. But remember every phase, the mana just disappears between every phase. So if you do this in like uh, right after the untap, as soon as they get to their main one, the the mana, even if they tap it, all the mana's gone. So yeah, if you respond to their tap or their untap phase by tapping all their land or making all the lands into something else, and they're like, okay, I'll just tap it first, doesn't matter. Even by the time they get to like their first main phase, that mana is gone. So yeah, really it's like canceling a turn. 
you end up just canceling a turn with this. Which is crazy good. It's just crazy. Anyway, 61 cents. The list. Hope Charm, 12 cents. Uh, Emerald Charm, 1 cent. Hearth Charm, 20 cents. Funeral Charm, 28 cents. And Vision Charm, 61 cents. Alright, take it easy.